behalf of the Institute of Dalit Studies, Delhi, Rosa Luxembourg, Stiftung South Asia, NR Center for the Study of Social Exclusion and Inclusive Policy, uh, along with Department of Economics, welcome all of you again for this valedictory session. Before we start, I would uh, request our honorable guest sitting here, uh, the chief guest, Dr. Pakyam T. Semgun, Director, Henry Martin Institute, to come on the dais, please. I also request <laughs> Professor Alim Ashraf Jaisi Sahab, Dean of Student Welfare and Professor of Department of Arabic, to join on the dais. <laughs> I do also call Mr. Taukir Ali Sabri, Project Manager, Rosa Langzambar's Stinkton. Uh, I also invite Professor Rafiwala Azmi, Director of the Center, please come on the dais. Uh, our Dean, Professor Farida Siddiqui, may be joining a little later. She was out and just reached the campus. Uh, yes. Friends, uh, this is indeed a great moment to have uh, people from various corners of the society, various corners of research and academic domain. Uh, we have people who have their own name, scholarship and individual presence in the field wherever and whichever uh, area they work. Uh, and many of you may think that in a workshop like this, which is very intensive for the participant, uh, how, how, what is the relevance and how it is going to be beneficial to listen uh, our guest, respected guest sitting here, uh, you would realize and feel the connections uh, when they speak, when they share their thoughts on the theme, uh, little, little while. Uh, so uh, this is our great moment uh, and two of them uh, sitting on the dais are our guest. Guest in the sense everyone is guest, but there is a difference between guest who has come from outside. Uh, so as we we are uh, pleased to have Dr. Pakyam to Samuel. We have seen him in the past in some other academic events. Uh, I would request Farha. Yeah. Uh, sorry, we have another guest uh, panel of this way, Dr. Rajesh Roshan, uh, who is a faculty of Indian Institute of Dalit Study. Dr. Rajesh, please, uh, please uh, join on the dais. Before we invite each of the guests uh, to share their thoughts, I would request Farha to for eyes around to please bring a bouquet uh, and, and I'll request Jaisi Sahab, uh, Professor Ali Masrab Jaisi Sahab to welcome Chief Guest Dr. Pekim T. Samuel. A gesture from the university. Thank you, sir. May I request now Dr. Nageshwar Rao to present a bouquet to our guest, Mr. Taukir Ali Sabri, and along with Professor Rafiula Azmi Sahab. We are the host, so RLS is one of the important collaborator in this project. Thank you so much, Professor and Dr. Nageshwar Rao and, and Professor Rafiullah Azmi sir. Chair ka? So, uh, 
this was just a small gesture from the center it is now the time to listen to our speaker of the evening uh, all of you must be waiting that dr rajesh roshan who has been working in the area of discrimination and he is a faculty in the institute indian institute of dalit study rajesh uh, studied from isaac uh, those who are from social sciences would have known the contribution of isaac bangalore uh, he is one of the young very prominent researcher and academicians doing and working in this area uh, dr rajesh well i welcome you because we could not have him in academic sessions in the last 3 days uh, therefore uh, first i would request dr rajesh to share his thoughts and those missing links those missing areas which we could not address in the last 10 or 12 academic sessions uh, that will be really useful uh, i feel honored to have you here and i also request that though if you can be brief about those missing link that will be really helpful dr rajesh yeah thank you jayadeen sir for inviting me and thank you chair and i am really grateful to be part of this uh, research methodology workshop three days uh and i am especially thankful to uh, and from the uh, institute side we are really thankful to manu uh, ex- uh, and especially uh, social issues center as well as our uh, partner rl south asia for providing this opportunity to uh, organize this uh, research methodology workshop this year in the manu social issues center and uh, the yes uh, in association with the Uh, department of economics so very quickly i'll come on the point that as uh, the title of this uh, workshop is measuring social exclusion discrimination and inequality so my question starts with a uh, question why first start with why it's important idea in the last uh, session uh, on the academic writing as the uh, asim prakash sir was mentioning about first develop the idea that idea will start from why then what third point is where where means the place where your that idea or the argument or question will be addressed or ev- evidences will be collected then when importantly time in case of ethnic violence conflict so that was the time and even for the other study primarily as well as uh, based on the secondary data source so what is the timeline time frame that's the also important so that means when and ultimately how to measure so it has started from the measure how to measure method has been posed before you so there are so many uh, very enrichful session but what i sorry for that first day i was just, uh, not present here but i come across uh, the discussion with the different uh, participants as well as the resource person that what was missing during this three days research methodology workshop two important point very confusing many times in the research for a young scholar like you and when i was even i am a the young uh, a scholar but shifted a scholar from from the scholar position to research position so what is the difference between research design and sampling design so just these are two different points sampling de- sorry research design and sampling design sampling design is part of the research design but not research design is not directly part of the sampling design and i want to just pose one question uh, it was not question but link to the uh, that sampling design uh, one participant sorry i don't know your name but when the prakash uh, sim prakash sir was uh, delivering uh, uh, half an hour back the lecture so you had mentioned that Uh, related to the proportion of muslim population based on the nss evidences or nfhs 
on which the such a committee report by Deblab, that was the foundation for the backwardness or religious minority. Okay, so very important that why the proportion of Muslim population, different layer of Muslim or caste sub caste is not properly uh, thrown or not properly distributed within that sample size, within that NSO. Uh, survey because the sampling design was not purposely to capture exclusively or based for the Muslim population. That's why it's happened. It's not representing that actual scenario of the Muslim population. So it's not that and nowadays uh, PM advisory, economic advisory board, there is crit critics or there is debate on the methodology of NSSO data as well as of the NFH data. Most important, when you use any secondary data, important point is just try to understand first is sampling design. Within sampling design, what is the sampling framework? And within the sampling framework, what is the unit? on which we have to measure. Just I'm throwing very quickly light on the different segment which the students or which uh, the young uh, scholar researcher missed. Second point is, now coming on the method to measure. So for last three days, different uh, uh, resource person came and discussed about their ideas, their way to measure, but how to measure that was missing. So my submission here to uh, Jaudin sir, when for next time, when you frame uh, such type of research methodology workshop, at least one or two sessions should be on hands-on practice, either related to quantitative as well as quantitative software. Even many times what happens, uh, students come to me, sir, I have lots of data, but I don't know how to analyze that either in SPSS or either in a starter or even in Excel. And if it's a qualitative data, how I have to import this either in Atlas TI or NVivo. NVivo is freely available qualitative analysis software. So that was the missing part. So how to measure and how to do analysis, actually how to do analysis and what to do in the analysis. As Paul Sarvaj mentioning, okay, when you will put the data or will in, uh, import the any kind of data in the any analytical software, either it's qualitative or quantitative, the software will throw or will give some results. But it's really insightful. It really fulfills question or objectives what you wanted to address, that's the important point. So for that, as a simple professor was mentioning, and some uh, students was also asking about that, and when uh, during morning session, when I was just entered for five, seven minutes, theoretical framework to conceptual framework to analytical framework, that analytical framework is very important. You may have so many indicators within your objectified research but which indicator you have to measure or what will be with the methods either a statistical or non statistical that's the really important point and for that we have to frame outline and prepare the indicator framework analysis indicator framework analysis that's the important point third point where i as mentioned about the different, uh, this analytical software, hands-on practice at least for one session or two sessions, that will be really important. As I was mentioning about theoretical and conceptual framework. What is theoretical and conceptual framework? What is the basic difference between? Just you Google difference between theoretical and conceptual framework, colon, what two majors? and how to measure. That's the important point. So in morning when I had just jumped for five to seven minutes to throw before you the healthcare framework like Anderson and Anser and Cooper framework, 
that we if you are trying to understand the hell seeking behavior among marginalized community especially among the backward a uh, backward muslim population in that case you can draw either if you want to look cultural connotation then you have to rely on answer and cooper framework that will grounding for your theoretical framework and based on that you can frame your according to your question or objective conceptual framework okay there is possibility that as the this answer and cooper framework mentioned that the locality the cultures the ethics and the traits also frame or regulate the access to services or health seeking behavior among muslim population so my conceptual framework will be like the culture within the muslim population and within that different traits will regulate to health seeking behavior among backward muslim population in your study area this will be your conceptual framework so third is analytical framework within the analytical framework what you will measure that is behavior traits then cohesion then interaction then maybe exclusion discriminatory behavior of the providers so this will come into analytical framework so when you developing your research idea just segregate when you going to the field or coming with the data from the field what is your theoretical what is conceptual then what is your analytical analytical framework very quickly then when you are uh, okay yeah so we'll take two to, uh, three more minutes when you are writing any research article that is was the last session on academic writings i am academic editor of loshban when people first comes to me before it's going to next stage to a lot the reviewers what we very quickly observe or very very quickly analyze in the submitted paper first is theoretical and conceptual framework before that is the central idea or central question has clearly posed or not then after theoretical and conceptual second point is we just jump on the data and methodology part how we in simple way you have developed or written the methodology part the and within that methodology part analytical frameworks comes and how you are going to analyze or you are what method you will use to fulfill fulfill your research objective as well as research question if this seems to be at least okay not a prepared and not up to the marks but at least okay so it moves to next stage for the reviewing process other otherwise from here only it bent back with the rejection letter very smartly in softly manner written to you and it hurts because it's your three at least three months of effort but the missing link resulted into the rejection of that so one another point i'll very quickly add that when you writing even either your a uh, research thesis meant means phd thesis or even when you will be in professional life any research projects or any research article don't forget to add what is the limitations what is the limitations of this a specific research article which is not going to address many times what the growing researcher or budding researcher do mistakes that based on the micro level like for example the evidence is based on gochiwali they generalize whole situation of 
हैदराबाद और तेलंगाना दैट इज नॉट द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सो वेन यू जेनरलाइजिंग बिकॉज एकेडमिक राइटिंग इज रियली वेरी पावरफुल पावरफुल टूल सो वेन यू आर राइटिंग जस्ट be scientific be critical be neutral and don't be emotional even you belong from the same locality same background and same community otherwise your research will be biased so my final word or final sentence is academic life is yours but academic journey is ours so do it rigorously and scientifically Thank you all. Thank you so much, Dr. Rajesh. Uh, these were the some important missing areas, which I was and many of us were discussing. Uh, you realize that days and hours and so and so forth is very limited. Uh, but yes, hands-on session uh, demand has already come. I'll take. after a while at least two feedback from the participant uh, to see which are the major areas but then those three important areas are important for uh, taking forward in fact this session uh, is uh, is actually looking forward not about only validatory uh, so in that connection in, in to connect these areas we have with us uh, mr tawkir ali sabri who is project manager Uh, he has been very seriously and very seriously i would use within court because every session he was sitting and and engaging with the students and and try to make more interactive most of the sessions uh, so i think uh, we would really have a very brief but the gist of his thinking about the whole three days program so my request our friend dr mr tawkir ali sabri to share his thoughts on this thank you i will be very brief uh, uh, first of all of all i would like to just congratulate all of the participant scholar who has been relentlessly you know working together for last 3 years to make this happen and without the you a scholar and engagement uh, and giving your 100% was not possible uh, this is the first point second point uh, i was just thinking uh, regarding uh, what uh, uh, ethics and value we can learn through the research and i was just thinking uh, through uh, in this uh, university is molana azad university and i was try to understand is anything i can uh, quickly grab some something interesting from the dr molana azad's life so i try to think i am historian so i quickly grab something uh, I, i i just wanted to share all of you for the sake of the better understanding of molana azad and his his th- thought uh, molana azad was decided to give uh, um, uh, indian biggest uh, award uh, everybody like the great citizens award you know uh, what is that uh, anybody can guess what is the what is the our uh, biggest award for indian citizen uh, bharat ratna so uh, azad was selected for the bharat ratna but he rejected that with the simple reason because he was in this selection committee so he he outrightly rejected no i will not be uh, you know going to accept this because this is the unethical uh, to get uh, our self uh, award so this very simple thing just wanted to convey to all of you and of course uh, the contribution of molana azad for this national bending particularly for higher education uh, uh, specifically building uh, ugc uh, his 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 dream to uh, you know uh, make uh, many many universities and 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 a scholar can think write uh, they can flourish they can they they they, they can criti- criticize 
so that was the basic idea uh, along with nehru and and patel and and dr ambedkar he emerges as education minister so uh, so that that's first thing i i wanted to say you uh, i was very happy to associate with iids molana uh, azad you know cities and and various department of the molana azad you know cities and last year we started this process and it's it's getting getting warm and warm and i i am i'm quite uh, hopeful we will also uh, going to get more and more activity uh, uh, here uh, in the next coming months and years uh, i can't give more uh, you know uh, uh, sermon to people who are already doing their scholarship their phd many more people are here to give uh, their uh, them some some very very uh, you know crisp uh, messages for their own writing and their lives and how they can take but i will only say one things uh, more uh, this is a very challenging time uh, politically socially not in in india i did not look india is the only country where everything is changing you just look at your country your neighbor country bangladesh bangladesh is also going through the same kind of things we have been facing uh, europe all european countries have uh, right surge uh, that right winger is emerging if you go to the other country like uh, turkey uh, i was talking to the ajmi sahab other day so turkey is also having same kind of a difficulty so we have to also look at the globally and trying to uh, see uh, holistically what is happening in our country and likewise we can position ourselves as a scholar what should we write what should i think so many congratulation to all of you and hope uh, we will connect again and my one of the uh, very very basic punch line for our uh, every activity we are not going to end here with you with your association it's rather we are continuing association with you uh, particularly for a scholar uh, there are many things which we will do uh, later with iids rls and of course the manu will be there so it's not going to end our association with you a uh, scholar uh, here so many congratulations and thank you have a nice evening thank you uh, thank you so much uh, the last sentence was very useful and remains to be significant for all of us here uh, and then same promise was made exactly one year ago uh, when we had uh, discussion india at 75 uh, where rls was supporting us uh, in this university we organized very wonderful uh, discussion with wide range of scholars who had joined and i believe that uh, academic friendship academic academic connect and academic contributions with such collaboration will be useful uh, so we we'll definitely look forward for all the contributions and collaborations with iids and rls uh, entire department of my university i believe will be open to collaborate with any institution that comes here and that is the inclusivity we have in this university a beautiful campus uh, with loving people so thank you so much uh, mrs takir for uh, all the support through iids for this workshop uh, we are more concerned for young scholars uh, although by the definition of geriatric care sciences there are no old in the world is is that they may be young old middle old and old and old but no one uh, gives the concept of old so everyone who is in the university are young whether teacher and staff so this young university would have you know will be looking for more collaborations in future and uh, friends all the participants rls also has a uh, doctoral program that is supported by rls and annually they choose at least one or two uh, who would be completely supported by rls and you will be studying in germany or somewhere so look for those things why i am sharing these these are the one time informations you will have and rest remains and depends upon you so uh, with this uh, before i invite uh, the chief guest uh, i would wish that Uh, from by the hand and from the hand of our chair professor ali masrab jaisi sahab and dr samvul 
we will quickly distribute the certificates because that is the moment every participants have been waiting uh, and I would uh, really be honored to invite both the uh, esteemed guests. Afrin, can you share those certificates? I'll name uh, participant quickly come here and receive certificate from our chief guest, uh, Dr. Pakim Samuel. Ashwarya. Huh? Is it now? Okay. There is a different name. You pass. Pass. Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait, Ashwarya. <coughs> Sorry. Sabnam TP. Can anyone volunteer for sir some photographs for these young memorable? Yeah. Vijay. At least one click. <coughs> Shamal Madhav Rao Bhale Rao. Yeah. Mudavad Paramesh. You can clap for your friends. <laughs> Habibur Rahman Ansari. Yeah, quickly. Yeah. Habibur Rahman. Harakant. Yeah. Harakant Peng. Yeah. Anoop. Anoop M. Anoop M. Anupama S. Krishnan. Shankar, Shankar, please. Ramesh, Ramesh Anemala. Ramesh Anemala, Shilpa Rajivan. Sudha, Sudha, Swadat, Swadat, yes. Medha is and I also request Ms. our friend Tokir, please join the certificate distribution. Yes, yes. Medha, Binsu Susan. Yeah, yeah, please. Binsu, Saidulu, Muhammad Sajid. Saidulu and Muhammad Sajid. This is Sajid. Yes. Sandra. Sandra MJ. After Sandra, Srinivas. Fatima Zehra. Fatima. Ibn Hassan. Fatima is from Manu. Ibn Hassan. Saifuddin Soz. Muhammad Faizan. Mushira. Okay. Mushira Asraf. Muhammad Suhail. <coughs> Mushira is, she is from Mass Communication Journalism. Suhail. Suhail from center. Very few from the center, but Farah. Zafri, Zahid, Zahid Kamal, then Noshad, 
a few more. Uh, I'm sorry, troubling all the guests. Uh, Ashwarya Prakash. Muhammad Amir, after Ashwarya. Muhammad Amir. Sabina Banu. Sabina. Maksud. Shabir. Shabir, Ajmal Ali Khan, uh, Mehroof Ahmed, Mehroof, no. yeah, go, go, and Afrin, the person who took pain of writing all these fifty certificates, Afrin Begum. And a few, thank you, Afrin. She did a pain, uh, painful job of writing 50 names. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, all the guests and dignitaries. Please have your seat. Uh, uh, before I invite uh, our guest of the evening, Azman is not there. Okay. So, those who could not attend or could not collect certificate, they can contact me but provided they have attended it, because we have those only. Uh, so, best wishes to all the participants. You have completed three days rigorous, very intensive workshop on measuring discrimination, exclusion, and inequality. Uh, this is what made us uh, to feel satisfying that uh, there are very few uh, workshops. We have debates, but very few workshops, or maybe uh, RLS and IIDs uh, are the leading front which takes up such projects of having methodological workshop to measure discriminations. And, and you will realize the significance and the importance in your longer period of life when you try to conceptualize, try to conceptualize and what uh, Rajesh was talking about, methodologically locating your concepts uh, will be very useful. Uh, these kind of environments were not there when we started PhD and we were running here and there for those methodological tools. Today we have ample amount of support systems. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, that is the reason uh, I feel very jealous that this young batch has such opportunity which were not there in even in JNU and Delhi University where all these stalwarts were teaching us but we would not have those access to methodological tools in terms of understanding discrimination. And precisely, or perhaps for the one reason that people were not ready to accept discrimination exists there. So the, the studies which followed in the last one and a half decade has proven that discrimination as a process and as a dynamic uh, factor exists in institutions. Uh, that, and in those institutions that debates about discrimination that debates about inclusion, but there are discrimination within those institutions. Manu is one such beautiful campus and institution in the country where discriminations would exist, but I do not understand and I have not experienced those discriminations that can tell you a discrimination based on intra-group, inter-group, inter-regional you know, uh, discrimination and so and so forth. Therefore, uh, uh, such workshops and debates are going to be very useful for us. So, Quickly, I will request uh, two, only two participants and again a very brief, uh, what is your learning or what is the, what are your one or two feedback that you think was very useful, at least for those participants who have come from outside the Telangana. Do log or if, if I can say one female, one male, so that will also be sharing. Two feedback, anything you want to say quickly? There is a mic. Uh, no, outside Manu. That will work. Sorry, yeah, yeah. They will be keep giving us feedback, our own. Uh, 
this is just call this. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir, for providing this such a platform where we learn a lot. So being from the technical background, but I was not at all aware about how to measure all this social inclusion discrimination and equality. Although from the beginning only I will start like say it is started with what is the concept about inclusion, discrimination and equality. Also is like he uh, he posed the question, what is the discrimination? How do you understand? What is the exclusion? And what is the disparity? So slowly, slowly we got to know that, yeah, we can measure in this way, and we can differentiate between this terminology by using in our research. At the end, as we also learned from Asim Saab, he told us how we can you know, incorporate in, in academic life. So this is what I learned from this workshop. Thank you very much for all the organizers who gave a very good platform to learn from. Like we learn a lot actually. So hope we'll be associating in the future. Thank you very much everyone. Kuyor, next. Your name as well. Yeah. Uh, my name is Shifa Rajivan. I'm doing a PhD in the University of Hyderabad. The Center for Social Exclusion and Inclusive Policy. So, first of all, uh, I would like to express my thanks to IADS, Sir uh, Alexander Center, and Sister uh, Pin Madhu because uh, it was such a wonderful uh, uh, workshop. Uh, being a beginner of uh, beginner in research, it was very helpful for me to understand the tools in research, how to measure how to collect data from the ground because I, I did my, uh, I did a previous research uh, during my MC, but it was purely qualitative research. And at, at that time, I was not aware, even aware of what is happening in research. But uh, in PhD, it's just one month I joined in MCU, so uh, I hope that uh, uh, whatever I get from this three-day workshop, would be very useful uh, in my future daily research. Thank you so much. And some of the, let me say one more thing. Some of the sessions, especially today's two sessions uh, about the writing of research and the uh, Salah uh, uh, lecture were very enlightening. Uh, thank you so much for organizing this this session. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I was hoping to listen some shortcomings, but you all are always appreciating. Uh, the purpose of work workshop is to create a critical mind, critical body, not subjugated and subordinate body and mind. Uh, so, but then uh, everyone will be happy to listen their appreciations. So, I f we all feel so. Uh, and, and it is a grateful moment that you all liked it. Uh, now, we have to uh, have patience to listen very dear and very respected uh, person of the city, uh, Dr. Pakyam T. Sambul, uh, Director of Henry Martin Institute, Hyderabad, this institute, and with his leadership, it is going, doing a great work in the area of uh, interfaith studies, creating harmony and research on those. Uh, usually what happens is that anything which is religious becomes sacrosanct. We do not talk about, we don't, do not dis discuss and debate about. But then here, uh, I feel uh, there are two individuals whom we will be listening today are those persona who would break those stereotypes, who would break your prejudices and our prejudices that religion is something which guides in every part, every spheres of life. And, and one of them is Dr. Pectum. Uh, to assemble. So, with a great, great respect, I request you to deliver your address today. <clears throat> Dignitaries on the dais and friends, congratulations to you for receiving this uh, wonderful certificate. I think it's not that easy for you to stay uh, three day long to listen to the micro uh, details of research. I am only remembering uh, Jalaluddin Rumi's uh, word. He says, the nature of reality 
the nature of reality is hidden and it is hidden and it is hidden you are not going to bring it out the nature of reality is hidden and it is hidden and it is hidden so but then what does the research uh, you know does for us i basically speak as a theologian and i see that uh, like institute like ours henry martin institute uh, which really works or we are engaged in increasing the quality of our differences you got it we are engaged in increasing the quality of our differences that's what we are engaged in we should appreciate our plural nature look at our own context in this country three p's poverty plurality and popular religiosity i think many of you by the way of uh, research you must have come across follow ferris book on the pedagogy of the oppressed when he says it is not that you are going to give but then you are going to learn so when we say that our context is poverty we are engaging with poor when you engage with poor as a religious scholar i would say that we are learning how to believe faith your epistemology is not just belief but it is faith but then how do you balance between faith and reason is a question that we always engage as a scholar as a theologian when it comes to plurality plurality is nothing new to this country we were plural in all the time but then pluralism is something that we are engaged now plurality is accepting our differences plural, but pluralism is a kind of a logical coexistence that you are trying to ask what the other religion is all about so when we engage in plurality we are engaging with culture when we engage with culture we get enriched similarly when we say popular religiosity it is basically engaging with religion and when we engage with religion we get transformed so these three p's i would call it as a contextual analysis poverty plurality and popular religiosity but then i still go back to jalaluddin rumi the nature of reality is hidden so what does research gain to keep us in ambiguous nature ambiguity we are trying to move from ambiguous to obvious right from ambiguous to obvious but then what does the research gain by maintaining or keeping us in the realm of ambiguity i think the research gains or the research or the readers or the researcher are invited into the realm of ambiguity you are not going to be making anything clear for any one of us the nature of reality is hidden and it is hidden and it is hidden social exclusion i think if you are a part of that social exclusion community you will understand what it really and what its pathos and everything i think any research need epistemology how do we know what we know is true you need to give credit to a source of knowledge so what is the epistemic point for the social exclusion community it is not tradition there is no literature so where do we start actually it's a matter of life and death it's a matter of life and death look at the dalit where do they start it's a matter of life and death what our research should lead it should lead us to a change right any research that doesn't lead to a kind of a change then it doesn't really make sense of it but then you are talking about measuring the methodology right i think you went too detail too micro into it i would say that i am still into a macro point i i think for me it's more of a polymethodic i cannot precisely say that this is the only one method that you can use for social exclusion it has to be polymethodic whether it is dalit adivasi or tribal or today you talk about sexual minorities you can't go particularly into one particular precise uh, method methodology so i think you must have discussed already in this last 3 days on this entire issue so my dear friends i think we need to be engaging ourselves in increasing the quality of our differences 
because the plurality that diversity that we talk about that is the most colorful thing that we are engaged in otherwise i will quote again and end my speech rumi again said the art of knowing is knowing what to ignore the art of knowing is to know what to ignore i started with this saying the nature of reality is hidden and it is hidden and it is hidden it is ambiguous you are trying to make it obvious but you are invited into the realm of ambiguity i am ending my speech saying that the art of knowing is to know what to ignore thank you a beautiful uh, beginning and concluding by quoting rumi and uh, today uh, when you see social media uh, whether we understand or not we see many uh, young people you know showing their status through rumi's writing but then the philosophy of rumi's every sentence and couplets are very very deeply rooted and and i am uh, this is beyond my comprehension usually when i see that but then the way it is put in into this workshop through dr pakyam is very very significant uh, and and definitely research is something which has to locate those hidden realities of any subject uh, and and that is uh, the message we have from our chief guest today evening uh, i have not seen any chief guest at least here in this campus being so precise and very short uh, just for very short minutes uh, that demands a lot of applauds uh, thank you so much sir for coming from so far and and giving your valuable address uh, now this is the time to have somebody who is again a parallel and equally very important uh, connect to this gathering uh, whenever i listen him Uh, uh he is one of our leader in in an of responsible office here in the university there he is a very different person uh he is our neighbor in the university there he is an entirely different man and then when he is in academic gathering i find him a person who is purely interdisciplinary and perhaps multidisciplinary in nature uh, the way he addresses the way he touches his uh touches the heart of the people you know through through the historicity of the religion worldwide and then everyday life uh, and and we we could not have somebody better than professor ali masraf sayyad ali masraf jaisi sahab here uh, chairing this session and uh, every time you listen him it's a different context different text and different meaning for those text in context so with these very brief background uh, i i i i feel honored to invite you here for a chair remarks professor jaisi uh bahut bahut shukriya dr khaja ziauddin sahab uh dais par tashreef farma dignitaries hamare guest aur इस प्रोग्राम के ऑर्गेनाइजर्स हमारे सामने हाल में तशरीफ़ फरमा यूनिवर्सिटी के डीन्स डायरेक्टर्स प्रोफेसर्स टीचर्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स ये मेरे लिए बड़ी खुशी की बात है कि मैं इस एजुकेटेड गैदरिंग को एड्रेस करूं मगर ये परेशानी की बात भी है कि मैं सब्जेक्ट के बारे में कुछ भी नहीं जानता अलबत् ये जानता हूँ कि ये सब्जेक्ट बहुत अहम है अगरचे मेरे पास इसके बारे में इंफॉर्मेशन और डाटाज नहीं है मगर मैं इसकी इम्पोर्टेंस को समझ सकता हूँ जाहिर सी बात है कि सोशल एक्सक्रूजन ये नया टर्म है और हमारे पास अरबी में अलबाद अलजमाही के नाम से जाना जाता है और जब से मुझे रफ़ी साहब ने कहा तो मैंने कई आर्टिकल जो है अलबाद अलजमाही पर चूँकि यही लैंग्वेज जो है ये हमारा मीडियम है सोर्स है नॉलेज का उर्दू मेरी मादरी जबान है मगर इसमें किताबें कम हैं और जिसमें किताबें वो हमारी मादरी जबान नहीं है तो मैंने कुछ पढ़ा मेरी अरबी तो कुछ स्ट्रांग हुई मगर सब्जेक्ट पर कोई पकड़ नहीं पैदा हुई जो है और जाहिर सी बात है इतनी जल्दी होनी भी नहीं चाहिए मगर मैं इस सब्जेक्ट की इम्पोर्टेंस को जानता हूँ कि ये बेहद अहम चीज़ है 
आ, मैं कहना चाहूँगा कि आखिर ऐसा होता क्यों है आखिर क्यों ऐसा है कि जिस संसार में हम सांस ले रहे हैं उसमें इतनी बुराइयाँ क्यों हैं इतनी कमियाँ क्यों हैं इतनी खराबियाँ क्यों हैं उसकी बुनियादी वजह मेरे मुखातब और जो मैं जिन्हें एड्रेस कर रहा हूँ वो हमारे स्टूडेंट हैं कि जो बुराई होती है इविल जो होते हैं वो घास की तरह होते हैं जबकि नेकी जो है नेकी और अच्छाई और भलाई और गुडनेस जो है वो गज़ाई पौधे की तरह होते हैं घास को कोई नहीं लगाता मगर हर जगह नज़र आती है और गज़ाई पौधे को कोशिश की जाती है लगाने के लिए मगर कभी होता है कभी नहीं होता है ये बिल्कुल ऐसे ही है नेकी जो है गुडनेस जो है वो ज़मीन से पहाड़ पर चढ़ने की तरह है और बुराई जो है पहाड़ से ज़मीन की तरफ आने के लिए है तो ज़मीन से आप पहाड़ पे चढ़ते हैं तो आपको बड़ी ताकत चाहिए बहुत स्ट्रेंथ चाहिए मगर ऊपर से नीचे आने के लिए जो है आपको कोई ताकत की ज़रूरत नहीं है और दरअसल ये इसलिए है कि बेसिकली इंसान जो है वो खुद गर्ज है सेल्फिश है वो अपना भला चाहता है यही वो यहीं से तमाम बुराइयाँ जो है वो पैदा होती हैं आप पूछेंगे कि इंसान ऐसा क्यों है अगर इंसान खुद गर्ज नहीं होता तो ये जो रोशन दुनिया हमारे सामने है ये कभी वजूद में ना आती और अगर हम खुद गर्ज ना होते तो हमें जन्नत से निकाला ही क्यों जाता है कि अगर सब कुछ अच्छा ही होता हमारे पास तो हम जन्नत ही में रहते हमको जन्नत से भेजा ही इसीलिए किया है तो ये खुद गर्जी जो है ये हमारे लिए पावर और स्ट्रेंथ भी है और ये हमारी सारी बुराइयों की जड़ भी है जब हम खुद गर्ज हैं अपना बड़ा मकान बनाना चाहते हैं तो एफर्ट करते हैं कोशिश करते हैं उसके मीन्स को हासिल करने की कोशिश करते हैं और मकान बनाते हैं और इसी खुद गर्जी की वजह से ये सोशल एक्सक्लूजन डिस्क्रिमिनेशन और इन एक्वेलिटी वगैरह भी इसी चीज़ से जो है वो पैदा होती है बेसिकली इसके लिए ज़रूरी है कि हमारे पास जस्टिस का सिस्टम मजबूत होना चाहिए और हमारे पास इक्वेलिटी मसावत होनी चाहिए दरअसल जस्टिस और इक्वेलिटी जो है ये वो चीज़ें हैं जहाँ वो ज़मीन है हम जिस पर नेकी का पौधा नेकी की काश्तकारी नेकी की ज़रात और नेकी के जो है पौधा उगाते हैं लिहाजा सबसे ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है कि हमारे अंदर जो है वो इक्वलिटी की होना चाहिए कि हम सब बराबर हैं हमारे अंदर कोई डिफरेंस नहीं है शेख सादी ने एक शेर कहा है जो यूनाइटेड नेशन के जनरल असम्बली की वॉल के ऊपर लिखा है कि बनी आदम आज़ाए यक दीगर अन कि दर आफिनी आफिरी नश जे यक गौहर अन ये तमाम ह्यूमन बींग ये सब के सब जो है एक दूसरे के पार्ट हैं ये अलग अलग बॉडी नहीं है बल्कि हम सब मिल एक बॉडी की तश्ल करते हैं एक वजूद बनाते हैं बनी आदम आज़ाए यक दीगर कि ये एक वजूद के जो है पार्ट्स हैं कि दर आफरीनश जे यक गौहर अंद कि ये तमाम के तमाम अपनी पैदाइश में ये एक उनसुर से एक एलिमेंट से बने हुए हैं एक वालदे माँ बाप आदम और हवा से बने हुए हैं खुद हज़रत अली रदी अल्लाह तु की तरफ एक शेर कहा जा मनसूख किया जाता है कि फरमाते हैं कि अन्ना सोफ़ी तिमसाल अकफाओ कि तमाम इंसान जो है अपनी न सिर्फ शक्ल सूरत में बल्कि अपने असल में अपनी औरिजनैलिटी में भी एक हैं चूँकि हर इंसान के वालदे आदम और हवा हैं लिहाजा सब एक फैमिली के सारे के सारे मंबर हैं नबी करीम सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम प्रॉफिट ऑफ इस्लाम ने जो आखिरी लास्ट सरमन मक्का मुकरमा में अपने हज में दिया उन्होंने एक बात कही कि अन्ना सो सबा सिया का अशनान मोश्त पीपल आर इक्वल जस्ट लाइक द टीथ ऑफ ए कॉम कंघी के दानों की तरह लोग बराबर हैं जब तक ये चीज़ हमारे दिलों में बैठेगी नहीं कि हम एक फैमिली के हैं हम कंघी के दानों की तरह बराबर हैं हम सब एक माँ बाप की औलाद हैं जब तक ये चीज़ हमारे अंदर रासिख नहीं होगी मजबूत नहीं होगी हमारे दिलों में ये बात घर नहीं करेगी जब तक कि ये तमाम सोशल इवेंट्स जो हैं ये बुराइयाँ जो हैं इनका जो है एलिमिनेशन जो है वो बेहद टफ जो है वो टास्क होगा इसलिए कि आप समझिए कि अच्छाइयाँ जो है किसी पर थोपी नहीं जाती अच्छाइयों को हम अपने अंदर से अचीव करते हैं हम अपने अंदर अच्छाइयों को जो है हम ग्रो करते हैं यही वजह है कि जब आदमी अच्छा होता है तो उससे जो भी काम वो करता है वो अच्छा होता है उसका इम्पैक्ट अच्छा होता है और उसके आसपास के लोग भी जो है उससे जो है फ़ायदा पाते हैं मैं अपनी बात को ख़त्म करने से पहले मैं आपको एक हिस्टोरिकल ये बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ कि ये कोई किस्सा कहानी या मेथोलॉजी नहीं 
ہسٹوریکل بات ہے کہ سیکنڈ خلیف عمر فاروق نے جو ہے سعید ابن عامر کو ہمس کا گورنر بنا کے بھیجا جب وہ وہاں گئے تو اس کے کچھ دنوں کے بعد ہمس سیریا میں کا ایک پارٹ ہے شہر ہے سٹی ہے وہاں سے کچھ لوگ آئے تو خلیفہ نے ان کو کچھ پیسے دیے اور کہا یہ آپس کے غریبوں میں بانٹ دینا اور غریبوں کا نام مجھے لکھ کر دے دو تو جب ہمس کے رہنے والوں نے غریبوں کی لسٹ بنائی تو اس میں سب سے پہلا نام وہاں کے گورنر سعید ابن عامر کا تھا تو عمر رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ نے کہا کہ امیر حکم فقیر یعنی امیر عربی میں لیڈر کو بھی کہتے ہیں اور رچ مین کو بھی کہتے ہیں تو کہا امیر حکم فقیر جو تمہارا لیڈر ہے وہی سب سے زیادہ غریب آدمی ہے انہوں نے کہا یہ فیکٹ ہے کہ ہمارے گورنر سب سے غریب آدمی ہیں حضرت عمر ایک سال کے بعد انہوں نے وزٹ کیا ہمس کا سیریا کا ویسٹرن سیریا کا ایک بڑا سٹی ہے الیپو اور دمسکس کے بعد سیریا کا سب سے بڑا شہر ہے وہ گورنریٹ تھا کسی زمانے میں وہاں پہنچے تو حضرت عمر کا جو طریقہ تھا کہ کہیں بھی جاتے تھے تو گورنر اور پبلک کو اکٹھا کر کے بات کرتے تھے گورنر سے پبلک کے بارے میں پوچھتے تھے اور پبلک سے گورنر کے بارے میں پوچھتے تھے لوگوں سے پوچھا کہ تمہارا گورنر کیسا ہے تو لوگوں نے کہا کہ ہمارا گورنر بہت اچھا ہے بہت عمدہ ہے مگر ایک پرابلم ہے کہ وہ صبح جلدی نہیں نکلتے گھر سے ایک دوسری پرابلم یہ ہے کہ وہ رات میں کسی کو اویلیبل نہیں ہوتے اور تیسری پرابلم یہ ہے کہ ویک میں ون ڈے جو ہے یہ صبح سے شام تک باہر نہیں آتے حضرت عمر نے کہا کہ کھڑے ہو اور سب کے سامنے جواب دو رپلائی دو حضرت سعید عامر نے کہا کہ خلیفہ اگر ہمیں چھوڑ دیں اور اس کا جواب نہ مانگیں تو بہت اچھا ہے کہا نہیں جواب تو دینا پڑے گا یہ تو ہمارے سسٹم کا حصہ ہے یہ عدل فاروقی ہے کہ آپ سے اگر کوشچن کیا گیا تو آپ کو جہاں کوشچن کیا گیا وہیں آپ کو آنسر دینا پڑے گا حضرت سعید کھڑے ہوئے گورنر تھے گورنر تھے ایک پاور فل گورنمنٹ کے گورنر تھے اور ایک ایسے ایریے میں رہتے تھے جو بہت رچ اور فرٹائل ایریا تھا کھڑے ہوئے انہوں نے کہا کہ میں صبح دیر میں اس لیے نکلتا ہوں کہ میرے گھر میں کوئی نوکر نہیں ہے میں اپنی بیوی کے ساتھ آٹے پیستا ہوں اس کے بعد ان کی خمیر ڈالتا ہوں اس کے بعد بیوی کے ساتھ مل کے روٹیاں بناتا ہوں بچوں کو بیوی کے ساتھ کھانا کھلاتا ہوں اور جب فرصت ملتی ہے تب میں باہر آتا ہوں پبلک ورک کے لیے رات میں اس لیے نہیں نکلتا ہوں کہ میں نے دن سروس کے لیے لوگوں کی سروس کے لیے رکھا ہے اور رات کو میں نے رب کی سروس کے لیے رکھا ہے لہذا رات میں میں عبادت کے لیے چلا جاتا ہوں تو میں نہیں نکلتا ہوں اور تیسری بات یہ کہ ہفتے میں ایک دن اس لیے نہیں نکلتا ہوں کہ میرے پاس ایک ہی جوڑا کپڑا ہے اس دن میں اس کو دھل دیتا ہوں تو میں اپنی بیوی کے چادر کو اوڑھ کے بیٹھا رہتا ہوں جب وہ سوکھ جاتا ہے تو میں اسے پہن کے نکلتا ہوں تو دراصل بیسکلی بات یہ ہے کہ یہ چیزیں قانون کے ذریعے سے آپ ڈاٹاز اکٹھا کر لیجئے آپ بہت سارے قانون بنائیے اس سے مدد ملتی ہے ہم جانتے ہیں مگر جب تک بنیادی طور پر انسان جو ٹھیک کرنے والا ہے یا جو اس غلط طریقے سے جو پریشان حال ہے جب تک اس کے اندر جو ہے وہ تبدیلی نہیں آئے گی اور یہ تبدیلی جو ہے وہ عدل کے ذریعے آئے گی سب کے لیے جسٹس ہونا چاہیے حتیٰ کہ ریٹریبیوٹی جو ہے جسٹس جو ہے جزا کی مساوات یہ بھی ضروری ہے کہ آپ گناہ کریں گے تو آپ بھگتیں گے اور آپ اچھا کریں گے تو صرف آپ ہی کو فائدہ ہوگا میرے اچھا کرنے سے آپ کو فائدہ نہیں ہوگا اور میرے غلط کرنے سے آپ کو نقصان نہیں ہوگا علاوہ ازی جوڈیشیل جسٹس ہونا چاہیے عدالت کے سامنے سب کو برابر ہونا چاہیے ہر طریقے جو ہے تشریعی جو ہے عدالت ہونی چاہیے نہیں لیجسلیٹیو جسٹس ہونا چاہیے پوری طرح سے ہونا چاہیے اور یہی وجہ ہے کہ سب سے زیادہ جو مذہب کی تعلیم ہے وہ اسی جسٹس پر اسی عدل پر فوکس کرتی ہے ان اللہ یا امرکم ان تو عد الامانتی اللہ و اذا حکم تم بین اللہ سے فہ کمو بلاد اللہ تمہیں حکم دیتا ہے کہ تم لوگوں کی امانت کو لوگوں کی چیزوں کو ان تک پہنچاؤ اور اگر لوگوں کے درمیان عدل کرنے کے لیے کھڑے ہو لوگوں کے درمیان فیصلہ کرنے کے لیے تم کو بتایا جائے تو تم فیصلے کو جسٹس کے ساتھ فیصلہ کرو جسٹس کے ساتھ جو ہے تم فیصلہ کرو تو میں اس کامیاب پروگرام کے لیے تمام آرگنائزر کو جو ہے مبارکباد دیتا ہوں اور امید کرتا ہوں کہ اس طرح کے فروٹفل شیشنز ورک شاپ سیمینار کانفرنسز جو ہے یہ سینٹر جو ہے سینٹر فار اسٹڈی آف سوشل اسکلوژن اینڈ انکلوزیو پالیسی جو ہے فیوچر میں بھی ایسے عمدہ اور نفع بخش جو ہے وہ پروگرام کرائے گی میں پارٹیسپنٹس کو بہت مبارکباد دیتا ہوں اور وہ تمام 
ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जिन्होंने सपोर्ट किया जिनकी सपोर्ट से हम इतना कामयाब और फ्रूटफुल जो है ये वर्कशॉप कर सके हम उनको भी अपनी तरफ से और यूनिवर्सिटी की तरफ से बहुत बहुत मुबारकबाद पेश करते हैं बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया बेहद शुक्रिया सर आपका मैं बहुत शुक्रगुजार हूँ कि आपने इस बात की गवाही दी कि ये प्रॉब्लम एग्जिस्ट करता है और आप उस मौजू को समझते हैं दरअसल यही पूरी मेहनत है सोशल साइंसिस की कि लोग समझें और माने उसके बाद तो कार्रवाई पॉलिटिकल पॉलिसी प्रोसेस का है आ, आपकी पूरी तकरीर उसी के इर्द गिर्द थी ये हमारे लिए बहुत मालूमती था एंड दैट विल रियली बी वेरी हेल्पफुल टू कैरी फॉरवर्ड सो थैंक यू सो मच आई थैंक एवरी बनी हेयर बट टू हैव अ फॉर्मल deep gratitude being uh, should be presented by the uh, center for the study of social exclusion and we have with us the director of the center professor afiullah azmi so i will request uh, to propose vote of thanks and show the gratitude to all the participants and our guest of the evening professor afiullah azmi and please be around we will have a group photo डाइस पे बैठे हुए प्रोफेसर अली मशरफ जायसी साहब डीन स्टूडेंट्स वेलफेयर ऑफ दी मौलाना आज़ाद नेशनल उर्दू यूनिवर्सिटी हमारे चीफ गेस्ट फॉर टू डेज प्रोग्राम डॉक्टर पैकेम टी साइमिल डायरेक्टर हैनरी मार्टिन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हैदराबाद और अदर गेस्ट मिस्टर तोीर साबरी साहब फ्राम रोज़ा लग्जम्बर सपोर्टिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन मैनेजर ऑफ दी रोज़ा लग्जम्बर फाउंडेशन एंड दैन डॉक्टर राजेश रोशन साहब माई फ्रेंड डॉक्टर जिया एंड प्रोफेसर मैडम सलीम फातमा my dear colleague dr qaid and other colleagues were sitting here for some time and it is already late and they have left my friend dr nageshwar rao and uh, all the students very dear students who have been here for uh, with us for the 3 days uh, uh for this workshop which was organized measuring social inclusion exclusion and discrimination and inequality uh, once again khush uh, amdeed assalamu alaikum adab a prop jo ki khatme ki taraf ja raha hai abhi teen din teen din tak hum log saath mein the ab time now it is time to say goodbye uh, alvida kehna zara mushkil hota hai teen din mein thodi bond hum log ke develop hui hai to बहरहाल मैं तो सबसे पहले आप ही लोगों का शुक्रिया अदा करूँगा कि आप लोगों ने बहुत ही मैं देखा मोस्टली इट यूज बी वेरी पैक्ड सेशंस वेरी वन और टू रेयरली समाइम पीपल यूज टू नॉट बी देयर अदरवाइज मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स वर सीटिंग थ्रू आउट द डे इट वॉज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग समटाइम्स इट लुक्स लाइक बोरिंग बिकॉज लॉट ऑफ डेटा इन स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड थियोटिकल डिबेट बट स्टिल डिस्पाइट ऑल दिस because uh perhaps it was uh, uh for you people it was seems to be very beneficial and useful that's why you were seems to be in grasp in this topics and mostly i found most of the faces were very enlivened and fresh looking not boring so that way we say, i think the purpose and efforts behind this anarchy workshop has succeeded and i uh, thank you once again agar koi organizers ki taraf se khaas se meri taraf se manu ki taraf se do our administration try to do a lot uh, our honorable vice chancellor registrar all of them supported a lot uh, even then if there was uh, some kind of shortcoming hospitality mein koi kahin problem hui khana mein kuch problem hua ho to uh, i excuse me for that but we tried our best to do that right with these words now it is time to 
I say my offer my sincere thanks to my partnering uh, institute that is uh, Indian Institute of Dalit Studies with whom we are, we are in directly contact. They were our contact point and they were the face of this whole program. So I am really, I'm, uh, my, it is my duty to offer my very sincere gratitude to uh, Professor, G, uh, Professor Sukhdev Thorat, who is the chairman of the IIDS, as well as uh, Dr. G.C. Paul, Dr. Rajesh Roshan, Dr. Vinod Mishra, and Dr. Khalid Khan, who came here. And they were supporting there from there, and we are making a lot of correspondence, telephonic conversation, and all that. And they took trouble to come, and they, most of them gave lectures here on a variety of topics, and that were quite useful, I think. Uh, students were very listening very attentively. So for these, for generous financial support, and plus your means, mental and intellectual resources, I'm really thankful to all of you. Then my, it is a very uh, pleasant duty to offer my sincere thanks to uh, my friend. We have become friend because he's also Jamaid. Uh, I'm referring to Mr. Taqir Sabri, uh, where he was a student and uh, I was teaching for some time before joining Manu. So I found him very positive looking and very, very supportive and very helpful. Uh, during the last three days, we have become our close friend and he is assuring that Abhi aur support hum aapko denge, aage achhe program kiye jayenge. Center ke achhe jir aane wale, bahut saare logon ko support hai. We are also that way very. Aage se aage. Yes sir, aap ke aapke piche support hai. So that way we are very hopeful that uh, inshallah next uh, few months there are going to be very important support. Now my. Uh, it's very important duty, though time is very short, I will not take long time. Uh, it's very my humble duty to offer my sincere thanks to very esteemed dear chief guest, uh, Professor Pakyam T. Samuel, who has been very kind and gracious. I just spoke a few days back. In fact, it, uh, this program happened within the last uh, 15 days. There was not much time. So I was thinking what to do, uh, to whom I should invite for valedicti, to whom I should invite for this uh, inaugural keynote speaker, etc., etc. So then uh, suddenly I met uh, my friend Nagesha Rao, we discussed this idea. Ki, I said ki, I want to propose his name, he said okay. Then somehow we established the contact and he was very kind enough that he accepted our invitations. And uh, really, sir, we are very grateful to you for. And also grateful, the kind of very precise, as my friend Dr. Zia was referring, that very precise and very sharp uh, kind of remarks, starting and concluding both. Rumi's uh, quotations, you are saying hidden, that is, you have to search for the realities, explore the truth, and that is what research is all about. So that way. And then your uh, last concluding line, line, art of knowing is knowing what to ignore. That is very important because if you are going to follow and practice this, that some of the strifes and conflicts um, is subside in a way. So that way it is very important. Uh, secondly, I was, uh, that way sir, thank you very much once again. Then I was thinking that uh, uh, my, uh, some, uh, some kind of idea came to invite my uh, surplus in the university, Mere Mohsin hai, Wajh Ehsan hai, inki mohabbat hai. I am referring to Professor Ali Mashrab Jaisi sahab. Uh, whenever I am in trouble, whenever I feel some kind of low, some kind of you know, problem, grappling, then I always talk to him. He is always very positive. Uh, attire se lagte hai ki wo ek religious, usme bilkul jo ek religious identity ka banaya gaya hai, ki ek jo kya kehte hain se again kya word hota hai stereotyping 
but he is very very secular modern sometimes i am aghast to learn some kind of ideas uh, that uh, he is so modern so modern that uh, we are not able to catch him up so that way sir aur mujhe lag raha tha do wajah aur thi dono religious personalities ko bulane ki ki aaj ke zamane mein ek debate chal raha hai puri duniya mein ki what will be role of religion it is all through the throughout the world it is being divided because, because uh, last 300 400 years there was dominant discourse of secularization but you know we see how secularization has taken from where so now it is being debated all over the world that what should be the role of religion in politics interfaith and all kind of things are there in that context i thought this is because all will be talking about the strife conflict exclusion discrimination that is all kind of conflicts will be talking about so let us have concluding remarks from these to religious personality so that way i thought it fit and both of them accepted i am really grateful to all of you sir both of you sir that was very good uh least but not least i should be also last but not least i should be also very uh, humbly thanks my colleague in the university department of sociology that is uh, km zaudin sahab he is really expert in organizing conducting and comparing whatever you say you assign any role he is always there and do it very efficiently very perfectly so i am glad that uh, dr kem zauddin uh, when i we discussed the idea it was his idea also and uh, he accepted this and he did uh, all kind of fail and i'm really thankful to you but uh, if i'll be i'll be failing in my duties if i'm not mention another person's role uh, that is professor farida farida siddiqui sahiba who is dean of the school of fine arts and social sciences in fact he has been since i took over this responsibilities uh, he always encouraged despite all kind of challenges we are facing regarding csep csep mein paise nahi aa rahe hain bhi bahut sare problems hai it is almost going to be closed down something like that challenges are there we are struggling that it should be saved somehow because center is very important and needed uh but she is always full of energy and she says you know azmi sahab we will try to do and in this respect also she gave all kind of free hand no interference mai kabhi puchne bhi jata nahi nahi azmi sahab aap kar lijiye se jaye free aap take it you don't need lekin beech mein wo bechari kuch aise halat se dochar hui unki mother ki tabiyat zyada kharab ho gayi and she was not able to join us neither in inagral na today do she is she has come to the, to the university today but uh, somehow she was not in proper frame of mind she couldn't join but i want to express my gratitude to her for all kind of support and his uh, her wishes uh, for that way it is very important i am also thankful to my administrations uh, particularly my honorable vice chancellor whenever i met with this kind of problem he always say go ahead go ahead आजमी साहब प्लीज़ आप कर लीजिए कोई इसमें मसला नहीं है और भी मैंने दो तीन प्रोग्राम प्रपोज किए उन्होंने कहा नहीं गो हैड सो दैट वे ऑलवेज सम काइंड ऑफ पॉजिटिव एनर्जी रेडिएट रजिस्टार डिस्पाइट द लॉट ऑफ इशूज सम ऑफ दी समाइम्स देर वॉज टेंस मोमेंट वी आर गोइंग थ्रू इट लुक्स लाइक दैट वी विल नॉट बी एबल टू होल्ड दिस सेमिनार वर्कशॉप बट देन ही केम फॉरवर्ड ही हेल्प मी and we were able to uh, uh, hold this uh, workshop so i am really grateful to him as well uh, it should be recorded to to express thanks to him i am also very grateful to our team of iamc who has been providing all kind of support from here to pre review theater where they have recorded most of the our programs and for providing us all kind of support and ravi sometime ravi used to also come and take this uh, help us so my thanks to goes to all i uh, i wish to also express my thanks to my own staff though we are very limited in number uh, but still uh, they are few but they are very valuable so my thanks dil se shukriya mai डॉक्टर करीम साहब का जो हमारे कुलीग हैं उनका करता हूं कि मेरे साथ हर वक्त खड़े रहे 
कभी कोई परेशानी नहीं ज़्यादातर काम वही करते रहे आइडिया मैं थोड़ा कभी देता था लेकिन कभी कभी बहुत सारी चीज़ें आती थी ही वॉज ऑलवेज देयर समटाइम यू वी यूज टू सिट फॉर टिल एट एंड नाइन पी एम सो दैट वे ही हैज़ बिन वेरी हेल्पफुल अब माई ऑल्सो सपोर्ट टू गोज टू मिस्टर विजय आवर ऑफिस स्टाफ हु हैज़ बिन ऑलवेज अवेलेबल इन डिफिकल्ट सरकम सेज समाइम्स एज फैमिली प्रॉब्लम्स इवन देन ही यूज टू हेल्प एस बाई डूइंग थिंग्स फ्राम दी होम जैसे आजकल होमवर्क का भी एक सिस्टम शुरू हो गया है कोविड ने सिखाया है तो कभी होमवर्क से बैठ के कुछ काम कर लिया तो दैट वेट इज गुड आई विश टू ऑल्सो थैंक माई न्यू कोलीग डॉक्टर स्वरूप रानी आई थिंक यू शुड स्टैंड अप मेनी ऑफ मैनी ऑफ दिन शी वॉज अपॉइंटेड एट द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ वुमेन स्टडीज आई थिंक बट सम हाउ authority is wishes to place her services at our disposal and she has been transferred to us and uh, though she is new like me meri bhi zindagi wahan bhi 15 20 din ki inki bhi shayad 15 20 din se aas paas hi bhi aayi to abhi hum ek dusre ko janne ki koshish kare jab se hum aaye program mein ulajh gaye so but uh, i found her very very receptive and very sincere and very hard working we hope that uh, she will be Uh, helping us in the center to grow my last but not least thanks goes to our uh, dear colleague dr shaukat pasha who is always standing with us though he lives very far away from here lekin kabhi 8:00 hi baje aa jate the program ke liye aur abhi late tak jate hain to unka bhi bahut shukriya bahut salam aapko uh, pasha sahab hamare khade hain bahar pe to bahut shukriya bahut salam aapko with these words Uh, सभी का शुक्रिया सभी के साथ बहुत मोहब्बत हुई और मुझे बड़ा ताउन मिला मैं तकरीबन यहाँ भी आठ नौ महीने पहले आया हूँ मुझे बड़ा अच्छा लग रहा है जामिया की जो डिफ़िकल्टीज थी वो भूल गया मुझे लगता है कि मेरा ये बहुत अच्छा आशियाना है जबकि अभी वहाँ से प्रपोज़ल आ रहे हैं कि आप वहाँ वापस आ जाओ मैंने कहा मैं नहीं जाना ही वाला लेकिन अभी बार बार प्रपोज़ल आ रहे हैं कि नहीं आप वापस आ जाओ हम बुलाने सो दैट वे आई एम वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू ऑल ऑफ़ यू खास तौर से मैं जायसी साहब से बहुत ही मुतासर हुआ मेरे सर पर हर वक्त इनका साया रहता है मैं जितना शुक्रिया अदा करूँगा कम है बट विद दिस वर्स आई लीव द स्टेज एंड आई थिंक वी हैव ए हाई टी डे सो जिया साहब कुछ कहना चाह रहे हैं विद दिस वर्स थैंक यू वेरी मच शुक्रिया कहने वालों को भी शुक्रिया करना चाहिए आजमी साहब का बेहद शुक्रिया अपनी डिटेल थैंक्स का सबको definitely wo tamam log uh, and all those who are behind any workshop are very important uh, including dr rani or dr karim vijay shaukat ghos taimur anusha uh, and dean's office javed basit maktadar and entire friends from instructional media center we have rahim uh, ghos manzoor and many other friends and the director of the center uh, people who 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 gave us arranged a auditorium from engineering sections everyone javed is not there every day they'll call ke kholna kitni baje hai isse start karna hai and all of you friends should always realize these strength are uh, are really our real strength so thank you everyone and also to those whose name are missed lekin main tamam ka shukriya shaukat aur vijay ka beha shukriya ye tamam log uh, हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी की ज़िंदगी के साथ ये लोग यहाँ रहे हैं पिछले 16-17 सालों से सेंटर में काम कर रहे हैं दे हैव बीन वंडरफुल पीपल टू वर्क एंड व्हेन आई शिफ्टेड टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सोशियोलॉजी आई रियलाइज देयर स्ट्रेंथ वहाँ जाने के बाद इनकी अहमियत हमें महसूस होती है कि ऐसे स्टाफ बहुत कम होते हैं uh, मुझे उम्मीद है ऐसे प्रोग्राम आप सब कम करते रहेंगे uh, अब आप uh, हाँ मैं uh... ख़ास तौर से कहना भूल गया था मेरे सामने बैठी हुई हैं मैडम सनीम फातिमा मुलाकात पहले से नहीं थी लेकिन इतना अच्छा लगा जितनी बार परेशान करता हूँ बेचारी दौड़ के भागी चली आती हैं और मैं बस फ़ोन करता हूँ वो बेचारी हाजिर होती हैं तो मैंने इनके ताउन का इनकी मोहब्बत का बहुत शुक्रिया मैम तहजील से आपके साथ इन शगे भी इस तरह की पार्टनरशिप चलेगी और डॉक्टर कायद भी बैठे हुए हैं हमारी इनसे यहीं आके मुलाकात हुई लेकिन जब भी इनको भी चाहता हूँ परेशान कर लेता हूँ ऐसे बहुत सारे साथी थे जो मेरे डिपार्टमेंट के लोग खालसा दानिश मोहन साहब को मैं भूल गया था 
और मेरे कुलीग इक्राम सभी जो है आ, मेरे साथ खड़े रहे उस सब के लिए शुक्रिया नागेश्वर जी का खास तौर से शुक्रिया बहुत ठीक है फिर शुक्रिया भाई साहब